All right. So good afternoon, everyone. My name is Robert Zalotic. I'm the uh, Director of Business Development for a company called Adaptech Solutions, and uh, we're experts in uh, helping companies build event-driven systems. And one of the approaches that we use uh, with all of our clients is an approach called uh, event storming. So I want to tell you a little bit about it and also see how you might use it in uh, one of your upcoming projects. So what is it? Uh, event storming is an approach to modeling complex uh, business flows. It's geared towards projects that leverage things like domain-driven design uh, and event sourcing, but it provides some insight no matter, what, uh, no matter what approach you use. The benefits of the approach are that it's uh, fast, it's comprehensive, it's really collaborative, uh, it's efficient, and it's a lot of fun to do. Um, so what do you need to do event storming? Um, Actually, sorry, you know what, let me, so not only is it fast, efficient, fun, and, and so on, but essentially what you get out the other side is uh, you get an outline of what you want to build, uh, how it's going to fit into the existing product, and the exact sequence of, uh, of the new function, how the new functionality will work. So essentially it gives you both the business flow and an outline of the architecture. Uh, so what you need, so you need to get the right people in the room. So traditionally, uh, when we develop new systems, you get a BA or a product owner, somebody who is, comes around and goes and meets with all these different stakeholders. This short circuits that whole process. What it does is you get everybody in the room at the same time. So you might have people like a developer, a team lead, architect, product owner, BA, um, someone from sales as well as maybe a CEO in a smaller company. Uh, and everybody gets involved. Uh, the approach allows you to think through events from end to end because all the people are in the room at the same time uh, from a variety of disciplines and backgrounds and none of the steps are missed. Uh, edge cases are explored and essentially you go from a blank slate to a fully fledged uh, sort of product outline in a matter of hours. Okay, great, all right. Uh, uh, this is actually what, uh, this is what it looks like and this is what we're gonna be doing downstairs afterwards. Um, as you can see, it's a very, very simple approach, uh, and I'm just going to go right into what you need to think through with these things. So, um, what you want to do is um, start with domain events. A domain event is something significant that happens in the domain. Uh, for example, payment processed, and the use of the past tense is really, really important when you're doing this. Um, you also want to consider how the domain events came about. So in almost every case, there are going to be events before, there are going to be events after, uh, and this allows you to, uh, this approach allows you to move the stickies around uh, in a very, uh, very elegant way. Okay, thanks. Come downstairs and do event storming with us.